the crew and to what the fans would understand. So being outside of it, you know, you're appealing to a much broader audience. So it's actually a lot different. And I had to do a lot of research on the other comics as well. Didn't you have a good time last night? You yeah. Think, and you think George took it well? I think he did. What do you think? You think he took it well? Yeah. I he's... came in late today because I, I got to bed at 1 in the morning from this. So George has a good sense of humor. He thought it was funny. Great sense of humor. And that was my biggest concern because I really love George. You know, he's such a sweet person. And, you know, having Brad in the front row, was it was a little uncomfortable. But Brad seemed to have loved it as well. So I was trying to be as edgy as I could without for lack of a better word, crossing the line, you know? I hope you enjoyed well, it. And you were fantastic. Thank you so much. It was my pleasure and, and honor. What time did you get in this morning? 1 a.m. I only got about uh, oh, four hours God. sleep. And then you had, what time did you come in? Oh, uh, uh, 6.15, only 15 minutes late. Oh, yeah, so yeah. you did come yeah. in on time. Yeah, yeah. Was, uh, well, close. thank you for last night. Yeah. Uh, Brand you were fantastic, and we got a replay of yeah, it yeah, this yeah, morning, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's why I'm glad I'm waiting to get to hear my garbage again. <laughs> <laughs> Did I remember to thank Brad? Because that was prepared, but, you know, thinking back, I'm not sure whether I, I got that in. I don't think you did. I don't think you did. And Brad never mentioned it, because I was afraid no. to mention it, you know, the, right. the fact that I didn't mention but it. But if Brad does marry you after today's show, you <laughs> should thank Brad. <laughs> so, George, how was your uh, roast last night? It was uh, a singular experience. I will not forget it for a long, long time. And uh, in... A strange way it was a unique honor you know to be uh, insulted humiliated and made fun of all night long but uh, I was prepared with my comeuppance for that too did anyone cross the line last night you know I came expecting it to be pretty uh, raw and brutal and uh, you know I've been doing the Howard Stern show so you uh, develop a pretty thick skin well tanned last night though Now, finally, to bring an end to our tasteful, lovely program, <laughs> you know him, you love him, will you please welcome Mr. Gilbert Godfrey. <laughs> jokes than usual. <laughs> Usually it's just old jokes, but now I got a bunch of old faggot jokes. <laughs> and you know about being an old faggot. <laughs> Three fags are in a hot tub. All of a sudden a big blob of semen floats to the top. One fag turns to the other and says, all right, who farted? <laughs> Shoved a pair of eyeglasses 
up my ass. So the doctor is looking up his ass. He goes, I can't see anything. And the fan goes, that's funny. I see you perfectly. <laughs> see, what the logic to that is, I don't understand. <laughs> what, if you get fucked up the ass a lot, you can see out of your ass? It doesn't really... Somehow it works like a joke, but it makes no sense. <laughs> Storm. So he goes, well, I don't know if I can see my asshole to fit them in. The doctor says, here's what you do. Put a mirror on the ground, take your pants off, stand over the mirror, and then you can see your ass perfectly. So he goes home, puts a mirror on the ground, takes his pants off, and he looks down. All of a sudden, he gets a big throbbing heart on. He looks down at his dick. He goes, silly, it's just me. <laughs> You know how two faggots settle an argument? They step outside and exchange blows. What do you call a Chinese faggot? Dicky Chin. How do you fit four faggots on a bar stool? Turn the stool upside down. Go up there and...
pees his pants and goes, boy, this ain't your lucky day. <laughs> and George, of course, is saying, no, it is his lucky day. <laughs> He's tied to a tree, and a big southerner's going to fuck him in the ass. How could it not be his lucky day? Thank you. 